here is a multiple choice question based on money for you you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions I have dollar eight twenty-five cents in pennies nickels dimes and quarters I have twice as many nickels as pennies one fewer dime than nickel one more quarter than nickel how many quarters do I have that's the question right so total money value is 825 so let's say uh, let's represent P for pennies right P for pennies N for nickels D for dimes and Q for quarters now as you know value for pennies one cent nickel is five cents times is ten cents and quarters is 25 cents so the total money if we have P pennies and nickels D dimes and Q quarters will be will write the money in cents so we have dollars 8.25 and that means we have 825 cents right so we'll avoid working in decimals so if I have P pennies then I have one cent right so so I'll call this as one for the value of each penny so one times P plus nickels is five cents so I'll say five times n is it okay so it's not decimal it's multiplication plus dimes is d which is 10 10 d plus quarters is 25 so 25 q all this amounts to 825 does it make sense to you so we have an equation which has four variables purposely we have avoided decimals by converting everything to cents now four variables means we need four equations to solve right so how do we get these four equations okay let's read further I have twice as many nickels as pennies so the first equation I have twice as many nickels as pennies so I have more nickels than pennies so number of pennies is half is half of nickels it says I have twice as many nickels twice as many nickels as pennies so nickels are more right so you could say which is same as or you could say nickels is I have twice as many nickels as pennies so 2p right so which I wrote as pennies are half of nickel so either way you could read it so let me call this as my equation one one fewer dime than nickel so dime is less than nickel by one so in numbers so dime is n minus one so that I'll call as my equation two one more quarter than nickel so quarters are more by one so one more quarter than nickel three and the fourth equation I already have so so this is my equation four correct now does it make sense to you so I have twice as many nickels as pennies so nickels are two times pennies one fewer dime than nickel dime is one less than nickel one more quarter than nickel one more so quarter is more than nickel by one m and how many quarters do I have we have to find Q so we have to find number of quarters correct now the idea is we can always replace the information into the first equation as you can see all can be written in terms of nickels so I wrote first pennies equals to half and purposely so you can see we can write pennies dimes and quarters in terms of nickels and if we do so we get an equation only in nickels correct so that's the whole idea so I'll replace pennies with half n. So I'll rewrite this equation. So I'll write half n plus five times nickels. We'll leave nickels as such. Plus ten times dimes, which is n minus one, plus twenty-five times quarters, which is n plus one. Do you see that? Total is eight hundred twenty-five. So we have an equation in nickels. So we'll add all these numbers so we have uh, 
uh, let's see how many so let's call this as half n plus 5n plus 10n minus 10 plus 25n plus 25 equals to 825 so as far as nickels are concerned we have a half here we will take care of this fraction also so 5 and 10 15 15 and uh, 25 so 20 40 nickels right so we are left with 40.5 40, 40 and a half nickels so it is uh, I'll be running out of space here so what I'll do is I'll kind of divide this into two parts 40 so we have 40 n plus half n okay we'll take care of this later and the numbers is minus 10 plus 25 means plus 15 equals to 825 right okay so I'll try to do this in here so if I do add these two fractions I get 4 times 2 is 80 81 over 2 is that okay so that is 81 over 2 nickels I could have written 40.5 also equals to 825 minus 15 825 minus 15 is it okay so that gives us 825 minus 15 0 1 8 is 81 n over 2 so the number of nickels is 810 times 2 over 81 and this 81 81 cancels giving us 10 and so we get 20 nickels is it okay so we get 20 nickels when we simplify this equation let me push this page a bit perfect so we get nickels as 20 so n is equals to 20 so how many quarters so quarters will be 20 plus 1 which is 21 correct so that is how you could solve this question so we have a choice here D right so I hope that works so the idea here is whenever you have such a question write all the relevant equations combine them so that you get equation in one variable and then solve I hope that works. Thank you and all the best.